Good evening, PBA fans. Welcome to your 2009 Model I PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. And before we begin game one of this much anticipated championship, please focus your attention to our big screens. Dalawang Kompunan, Balinding Sixth floor, number 21, 
As we give you a peek inside the dugout, courtesy of Gate, of our Gatorade pregame cameras, exclusive look at what goes on right before a moment like this, a moment where we begin the best of seven PBA finals for the Montalai PBA Fiesta Conference. Let me tell you, those are anxious smiles coming from players who are all set, all locked in for the ultimate prize in the Fiesta Conference. Welcome to the Championship Capital Philippine Basketball, the Alameda Coliseum, game number one of the PBA finals here on CS9.
they face each other. Uh, it's something right where it's uh, really a rooted in tradition.
So we're all set. Rafferty Boy Bruce starts this game. And first possession goes to the San Miguel Beerman. The Immaculate White team Emrad is in fighting rhythm. Well, we've got the big draft this year. We've got the Boy Bruce and Emrad. We've got the big draft this year. We've got the big draft this year. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kisi got the ball back to the near mid as we cross the halfway mark in the opening quarter. Coming in back on 10 points, Jonas Lee gets all on his way. Second chance, getting good shots in the left of the first three attempts, which they missed in that one. That was a good shot. Here's Nolan. Good line. Just came up short. And this is a getaway for Anthony Washington.
Shoots, Pierman trying to grab the lead and this uh, opportunity. There's a blocking foul here spotted by the people. That's a second personal against Tubi.
they got their back but it's not a long game so we just gotta make sure we watch the guys playing defense thank you very much Miko. Uh, you just heard from uh, Sean Takas and that was a live interview by the way uh, as action was uh, ongoing you get much better All right, here's Baggio, and now Meng sends it over. Salvason with a fake. Back outside, Baggio. And they swing it over to Lanete on the right side. Back to Baggio. Baggio, where's he going? That's Takes also, a tough shot. That's, that's an offensive thing. foul. Exactly what was called on the other end. He puts his shoulder down there. Guy had good uh, position on defense. Let's take a look at that on our slow-mo. See, look at Cortez here. He uses his feet. And there's the bang there by Baggio. He loves to do that actually to get the momentum for him to fall uh, fall back and make take that shot. Huh? San Miguel trailing here, 31-24 in the early moments of the second quarter. And here's Peña against Mamarin. An all beef matchup. I would not dare go in between Peña and Mamarin at any given circumstance. But that's a good defensive job also by Mamarin. So three consecutive offensive fouls called. So three good stops, two by Hinebra, one by San Miguel. Holding his ground here, you know, Peña is a left-handed player, loves to go to his left. He, co he closed the left side, and Peña put that shoulder down, knocking him down. So Nick Tenisi has to come back to the ball game as Peña picks up his uh, second personal foul. Peña shakes his head. Having to sit down because of his foul situation. Here's Salvacion, 4-3. Off the mark, and all Olsen Rosella playing in his 18th PBA Finals. Not many? <laughs> Not many. He's been around 16 years in the PBA. Uh, Cortez has the ball. 
Eyeball to eyeball with Laneke, and that's off the mark. Well, Salvation can exceed the piece. He said, I can pick up a defensive rebound. That's going to help my team. And Mick wants that basketball against Benisi. Top pass, Lanete. Yeah, reversal of Rose there, but Lanete was caught stepping on the line. Salvation again being replaced here by Intal. Both imports are still seated. You might make an argument that that's how talented these two teams are. They can actually afford long stretches without their import on the floor. Well, we're only in the second quarter, and obviously, uh, you know, if they have to push, they would like to make that push in the third and fourth quarter if you want to play the extended minutes for the import. Now here's Pinkris. And it's going to be Hinebra basketball here as Helterbrand returns to action. Replacing Chico Lanete. Got to give it to Intal. He's not a strong defensive player. Neither is he a post defender, but he did a pretty good job there on Pingus. And this was our KFC delivery assist of the second quarter. But for delivers a KFC, just now 8878888 KFC finger licking game. Meantime, here's Baguio. Namaril, top of the key. Here's Elter Grand with 10 to shoot. Ginebra on uh, top here by seven points. And Intal makes his move. That shot swatted away by Cortez. And Rasella bounced past the Pingris. And a nice passing play. But Daniel Defonso could not finish the layup. Yeah, there was Billy Mamaril to challenge him. Baggio is open. This is the shot that he loves. But it's a two-point job. You will take that, you know. He has not been able to make his shots earlier. You take anything that you can get. Even Salvation would have loved to have at least one of those. But he's sitting on the bench now. And we're going to have a timeout called here by the uh, San Miguel team. 7 and 21 remaining. Hinebra still on top. Television's newest and most intense basketball reality show is coming to CS9 and BTV. The Clear Men Future League, the proving ground for high-performance athletes. See 10 of the most promising basketball teams compete for the glory. She won a thousand pesos grand prize and a chance to be discovered. Three years July 12 on CS9 right after the PBA. Uh, that really hurt San Miguel. They called a timeout and they got caught with a 24-second shot clock violation. Just not proper execution. Both imports are back on the floor right now. They're guarding, well, Freeman is guarding nowhere. And here's Intal guarded by Pingris. As we near the halfway mark of the second quarter. Elterbrand guarded by Rosella. And Elterbrand will now operate with one to shoot. And he almost makes the three. Baggio skying high to keep that ball alive. And Mamaril still has the leather. And he goes up and he misses. Mamaril never thought of throwing that ball out, kicking it out to his teammates because he was in the line of giants all by his lonesome. Here's Villanueva. And Jonas. Another wild shot by Jonas Villanueva. Six to shoot. And Freeman overshoots. See, that's the thing. That's an easy shot, you know. He cannot make that. It makes the other team's defense easier. It's going to be a push there against Dave Freeman. He pushed off against David Noel, who had better position on the rebound play. Ah, it was a Mark Pingris. That's going to be the third personal against Pingris. We really can go on and on about the fundamental difference between David Noel and uh, Dave Freeman. Well, <laughs> You know who I think is better. <laughs> I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> and that's a three for J.J. Elterbrand. And remember back in the opening period, he never really used that three-point shot to get ahead in this game. It is Penisi for three. Yes, sir. <laughs> First three points of the game for uh, Penisi. It's a 36-27 game in favor of Inebra. Really unselfish play for David Noel, who spotted a wide open Billy Mamari. He 
Is Benisi for three? Almost, but not quite. Rebound for Helterbrand. And Ebra on top by 11 points. And Helterbrand uh, shoots up the glass. We have a lot of problems when they get the rebound like that and they push the ball up. And Helterbrand has helped with 10 points in the ball game right now to give Ginebra a 13-point lead. And that's the biggest lead in the ball game for the gym, for the Kings. And here's Freeman. Back-to-back -back misses for uh, Freeman. And Ginebra protects a 13-point lead. He's under five minutes remaining in the first half. Now, do you believe me when I tell you this is an import conference thing? Because when the import is playing well, everybody's going to join them in playing well. Oh! oh that's just, this is bordering on a technical foul against Kingris. Tried to get that loose ball, snatching the ball away from uh, JC Intal. Uh, that was the fourth personal oh, foul also on Pingris. And I, I think, like, you know, that thing would have been automatic with other referees. But I thought that Killigan held his ground there. I mean, he did not give the technical right away despite the protestations that Pingris showed. I think it was part of a play too. And maybe he felt that, you know, that's what we call a, a thin call in, in uh, Manipis, you know, in that sense. You know. Because English made the effort to dive and save the ball, but it's he also withheld the fact that he gave not to give Pingris a technical foul. Noel Kilingen uh, using a lot of restraint because Pingris was really barking in his face, and Pingris uh, getting away with a warning. But it's also part of recognizing that you know these players understand what's at stake. A lot of intensity involved uh, when every time you reach this stage in the tournament. As Rivas checks in for Big Mama, Billy Mama Ril. The action continues here in the second period. And Helter Brand is face to face with Villanueva. And Helter Brand looking for operating room here. And the basket is good. Right now, he never is really on a big roll here. Their confidence is very high. And San Miguel just doesn't really know what hit them. The thing that has hurt them is the three shots underneath the basket. I should take a look at this. A chance of MVP now being called for Helterbrand, who's certainly going to be one of the top favorites in this conference. He's hoping that, you know, that he may be able to lead this team and probably win that MVP. Not only a for the series, but also as well as of the conference. Maybe even for the season. <laughs> yes. I'd like to thank Fernsey, the official vitamins of the PBA, proud sponsor of the Motolite PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. Back in a moment. All right, we're hanging on. Okay, we're hanging on. It's a 30-second timeout with 4 and 11 remaining in the second period. And as expected, we do have a packed house uh, here inside the Big Dome, over 11,000 uh, fans witnessing game number one of this best of seven affair. And part of this mammoth crowd, the Maravilla family. Because here in the PBA, we give our lucky families a dozen Mr. Donut Donuts. Maguin ng saya, maguin ng sarap only from Mr. Donut for the Maravilla family. Of course, uh, Mr. Peter Chan Myung, uh, one of our head honchos yes. uh, for uh, Solar Entertainment. Glad to Aba. see you here, yeah. <laughs> ba? May uh, fans pa sila si May dinala si Leah Cruz dito, ah. May yeah. kasamang banner pa. Huwag naman ganyan, partner. <laughs> <laughs> ano yun? May pala? Huwag <laughs> naman ganyan. <laughs> you notice it's a cute banner. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's proportional. And we'd like to thank for see again, official vitamin of the PBA, proud sponsor of the Motulay PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. Four minutes remaining in the first half, and Jonas launches, and that's a three for Jonas Villanueva. One guy that has played steady and well for uh, San Miguel has been uh, Jay Washington. He has been responsible for seven points, and then eventually that pass. Villanueva yeah, still up by 13 points here, and Baggio spinning and going nowhere, and the ball stays with Villanueva. Thank uh -huh. 
Okay, we'll take this timeout. Ginebra still on top by 13 big points. inside the big dome back just in time to catch uh, that this play and there's a foul against the beermen you see how well john at, uh, Yuchiko suggested even to a new player like baggio you know baggio is unstoppable when you isolate him and then he puts that foot back and then he, he tries to get you one-on-one what's going to happen is you're going to have to ask a lot of help from your teammates and that resulted in a foul by mick penisi you know, Akadi gave them 11 points. He picked up three fouls, so he has not come back to the ball game. Let's uh, track back uh, at our Gatorade halfway point. And JJ Helter Brand with an intense play there happening during our Gatorade halfway point of the second quarter. Back to live action on the floor. Three and a half remaining in the first half. In Washington on the left side. Washington still has the basketball here. And. It's going to be a foul on Rafi Rebe. As they switch off, you picked up Dave Freeman and he held him down. And the lady with a huge fan base inside the Big Dome now reports set courtside. Leah, go ahead. I hope that you're part of that fan base, Miko. All right, anyway, during that last huddle, <laughs> Coach Shot Tankinten was trying to rally his boys, get him to calm down despite the 15 point lead. He was saying that, yes, he never is shooting the lights out, but he has yet to play at a regular level. So let's wait for that. Also, Mark Fingers was getting iced up because Nesiko Dosha, ni Billy Mamarel. Back to you guys. Anytime you get an elbow from Billy Mamarel, that's going to hurt till next month. Well, two three point shots by Jonas Villanueva in this quarter. All of a sudden, he has eight points. That one rattled in, but at least he made it. That's an almost a steal there by Freeman. And that's another three for JJ Helterbrand. He's having a big first half. And this was nothing but net. That didn't rattle in. That was straight and true. You know, 16 in the ball game right now, Nico. And Inebra is pulling away here in the first half 48 33. And under three minutes remaining in the second quarter. Here's Benisi. Washington. Jump hook. In and out. Freeman is fouled. And the basket is good. Right. The ever jumping uh, Dave Freeman finally having an opportunity for a three point play here. Second personal foul on David Noel. Well, Jonas Villanueva is being replaced here by Olsen Rosello. He must be tired because uh, he just hit two three-point shots here in, in, in space a few minutes here. But maybe they need a veteran guy to sort of get the other players involved also. No? Uh, Shot is then actually bringing in two veteran guys, Rosella and Danny so, I, yeah. sent back in at this point. Ginebra still on top by 12 points. Time winding down in the second quarter. Intal baseline. Oh! Gets it! Gets the slam! I mean, that got the Hinebro fans all race, rising up in unison. And Olsen misses a three. Intal with a rebound. And JC still has the basketball. Over to Helterbrand for three. Yes, sir! San Miguel is in trouble right now here. They're not getting their usual game because Ginebra is just playing their game and not letting San Miguel play the kind of game they want. Helter Brad with 19 points in the first half. And that's another turnover. And here come the Jim Kings and they're on a tear here in the second period led by J.J. Helter Brad. And he also knows how to stop, you know. Here's Baggio hosting up Rosella. Great double team there uh, resulting into a turnover. And nobody else cut from the weak side. Baggio really had a mismatch there against Rosella at the post. Take a look at this dunk here by uh, the high leaping in Tal. That's why they call him the Rocket. Because he can really sky. And you know, he never fans have been waiting for a true breakout game from JC in Tal. And uh, meantime, here's Ontiveros with a fake. And that's a veteran move. Well, kagat na kagat na talaga si Baggio dun eh. I mean, actually, the first move, wala pa siyang fall, pero hinihihin pa rin niya yung katawan niya. So that really forced the referee to make the call against him. Don Don Antiveros going back to the free throw line. 
What has hit San Miguel here? Well, I think Ginebrek just really scouted them well. They know that they can stop game. And in other words, that had one of those super big games as we take a look at this. Coca-Cola Smile brought to you by Coca-Cola. Mag-smile sa buhay. Mag-talk araw-araw. And they have a very good, they have some very good role players that are doing their jobs like Rafi Regis. He has not scored, but he has rebounded, he has defended well, he has stopped the ball out to his teammates, provided screens. His elder brand, he has been scorching hot here in game one. Gives the ball up. Baggio throws the ball away. And Olsen says, let's try and slice into this deficit, shall we? And Olsen looks at the game clock and the shot clock. Sends it to Ontiveros. Ontiveros against Elter Brand. Ontiveros falls away and it rattles out. And Freeman, oh. one thing he's very good at, it's anticipating those offensive rebounds. He has nine points in the ball game right now. And look at his body compared to Noel. He was still able to nudge him out of the way for that offensive board. 30 second timeout being called on the other end now by Hinebra. There are 18 seconds left in their shot clock. There are 28.8 left in the game. So that should be two possessions. For, uh, for uh, coming up for us here. Ginebra up by 13 points in uh, what has been a great first half for them here in game one. And here in the PBA, we not only uh, give our fans action pack games, we also give them a, we also let them taste the game by giving out free original recipe and having crispy chicken from KFC. Taste the game with KFC. It's finger making good. And Mr. Christian uh, Bautista? Mark Bautista, rather. I think he's going to be singing eh, at halftime uh, to treat uh, the fans uh, uh, here inside the Big Dome. Mammoth crowd inside the championship capital of Philippine basketball. And Eric Meng comes in for Rafi Rivas. Well, because you have the offensive pattern and you have a guy that you want to be able to score if you need to, like you can set them up at the post. Time running down in the second quarter. Nine to shoot for Hinebra. And Helter Brand has been the man of the moment and he fires and he almost scores and Freeman has the rebound. Here's Washington against Intal. Hand off Freeman and he is fouled. And one thing you love about Freeman, he's not going to stop running. He's not going to stop playing at a high level. You know what? He's just full of energy. And that's exactly what the team needs right now because they are behind by a big margin. But that's still a lot of time left, you know, six seconds left. Freeman did very, uh, very well from the free throw line against Burger King the other night. I think he was flawless. No? But this one he misses. So... He never preparing for one good heave here with six seconds. Enough time to really push the ball up if Freeman should make the shot or if they could get the rebound. The numbers of Freeman, he has only four rebounds and three of them are offensive. Ooh, that was a bad pass there for Noel. That's bad. That's one thing about trying to rush things instead of just being able. Now, San Miguel is going to uh, throw in from underneath the basket, but he never does have a foul to give. And they can use that. That's why they probably want to use that. That's why they take away uh, Helter Brand. They don't want him giving up that foul. Probably take out Noel too. Hmm. Always listen to the doctor. Huh? That's why I believe in coaches that are like that. They take nothing for granted. You know, it may not work exactly to what you want it, but you do, you try to. So there's a foul given up. Oh, an offensive foul. The, again, he can, he can even put the other offensive players back in. <laughs> so offensive foul against uh, Don Don Ontiveros. Well, Lenete will sit down for Artadi and uh, John Wichigo will stick with this unit and see what they can do with four seconds remaining in the second quarter. Baguio slips. Baguio fires. No chance. And nonetheless, a strong first half for Inebra. 53-41 at the end of the first half of game number one of the Motorai PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. And this big first half performance fueled by the 19 points of J.J. Helterbrand leading the way. 
In our Motolite leading scorers cast, and Helter Brand is with Dominic Ulla. JJ, 19 points in the first half. You guys had a great start. Jalen, I love you. Um, uh, I think that's what we need to do, come out here and really uh, get up to a good start and hopefully just continues on to the next half and uh, we can just uh, keep them out of it. You, you talked about desire to be able to win this championship. It seems like you guys have a lot of desire here in the first half. Well, um, I think the, everyone is uh, counting us out, basically saying they're a real strong team. And that's definite, uh, definitely a motivating factor. And we want to show them that even though we may be our man or whatever, I mean, that's what they say. You know, we got a lot of this. All right, thank you, JJ. Back to you guys. And JJ Hilterbrand saying they have a lot of heart so far. They showed a lot of heart in that first half. Let's see if they can sustain it for the rest of the game. We'll be back with more from the Big Dome. This is the PBA on CS9. Back inside the Big Dome where he Nebra is ahead here in game one, 53-41 at the half, led by the 19 points of JJ Helterbrad. Really scorching performance by Hinebra in the first two quarters. This is the PBA Finals and CS9. I'm Miko Halili alongside a good doctor, Dr. J. Andy Howe, and your diagnosis of the first two quarters, Dr. J. Well, so far, Hinebra has really shot well with its guards. The 35 points that they got came from its guards. 19 from JJ, 11 from uh, uh, Paul Artadi, and 5 from Tubib, you know. So, obviously, it's the guards that are doing the damage, plus their defense. Look at the field goal percentage of Enebra. Not really that good, 42%, but terrible for San Miguel at 35. And then the three-point shooting, that's 27 points, 9 out of 21 against the 4 out of 13. They also out, Ginebra also out-rebounded the Beermen, courtesy of Noel and guys like Rafi Ribis. And then they also out-assisted Ginebra 11-6. to 6. That's the reason they are leading by uh, this amount, uh, this margin of 12 points here at halftime. And for San Miguel, what should they do to bounce back in business in the second half? Well, I think they got to establish who are the players that they are really going to go to. Pontiveros did a good job. He got to the line. He made 7 out of 8 from the free throw. He had 9 points in the ball game. I think, you know, they're going to have to be able to get the ball to other local players and then ask Freeman to do what he does best most, which is probably getting offensive rebounds and following it up or cutting to the basket and try to get the ball close because he has not been able to back down Noel nor has he been able to back down some of the other uh, small forwards of the uh, Ginebra San Miguel squad. And we will be back with more inside the Big Dome in a moment. You're still watching the PBA Finals here on CS9. And now let's send you over to Senor Domingo, El Conquistador, Dominic Uy. I'm with Coach Jong and Tico. Coach, you guys started out really strong, great. Now you have a 12-point lead. What do you expect from San Miguel in the third quarter? Well, San Miguel is, is um, you know, they start out, they don't start out that well, but they're really great in the third quarter or towards the end. They're just waiting for a streak to happen. And um, I hope we can contain them to... 80 points. I hope we can contain to 80 points and then hope we shoot well. All right. Thank you, Coach. Back to you guys. So you heard it straight from Coach Jong with Chico, fresh from their halftime powwow. Yeah, they, you know, I saw both coaches uh, with their staff as they, as I went out. And, uh, of course, they were on the corridors of their respective locker rooms trying to talk about the game, finding, uh, in, I, guess, I guess San Miguel had a lot more to talk about. Because their offensive game was practically shut down as we take a look at uh, our commissioner, Sonny Barrios, saka ang ating regular na si Eddie de Guzman. I think he was a former ambassador or consul, I think consul, something like that. And uh, he really does come to the uh, basketball games a lot, not only during playoffs, uh, but even during regular season games. No? And those are the kind of play people that I really admire. <laughs> they love the game itself, talaga. No? Here's our Power 8 Power Rebound, uh, which we spotted in the first half, featuring Gabe Freeman. Power 8 drink up, power up. He's going to need to power up some more if uh, the Beermen wish 
uh, to really get back in contention here in uh, game number one. And speaking of the beard men, here's more on uh, San Miguel from Leo Cruz. I caught up with assistant coach Gia Benilia as they were coming out of the dugout and basically he said, well, he affirmed rather that the first half was definitely not theirs. They have a good game plan, but they weren't able to follow it. They are definitely not playing at their usual level, so they got to focus on defense. They are just not doing a good job on the guys that they're supposed to stop, like J.J. Heldebrand, for example, who has 19 points in the ball game. They couldn't contain the Hinebra players basically and they're not reacting how they're supposed to they allowed Hinebra to get off to a good start so that would give them a poor start as follows now defense is a very very important factor basically and they also have to capitalize on the mismatches which they weren't able to do in the first half back to you guys well, certainly uh, that San Miguel defense watched Hinebra race to a 10 point lead uh, in the early parts of the opening quarter and then they watched Helterbrand score 14 points in that pivotal second quarter run by Hinebra. Yeah, actually, San Miguel was able to make the comeback, but then again, that spurt by J.J. Helterbrand, then the five points strung up by Tubi really helped the Hinebra squad to, uh, to get this margin at halftime. Yeah? And Fern Sia is the official vitamin of the PBA, proud sponsor of the Motolai PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. Another offensive foul. This time it's called against Artadi. Against whom? Against uh, Mamarel, Billy Mamarel, setting an illegal pick there for Artadi. And a foul. That's going to be the third personal against Artadi. He's trying to harass Jonas Villeneuve all the way from the back or trying to deny him and forcing uh, another player to bring up the ball. However, short tackling and counters with Villanueva and Cortez. Both of them can easily bring up the ball for their team. Here's Cortez shooting over Helterbrand. Uh, two bit sky's eye for the rebound. Now, Noel himself has had a quiet evening. He has only five points in the ball game, but he really hasn't attempted that much either in this game. Here's Artadi. Helterbrand with 10 to shoot. J.J. Helterbrand lost the ball. Mike Cortez bounce pass. Jonas Villanueva's shot is erased by Mamarin. That's one thing you have to give Billy. You know? Billy is a shot blocker. Uh, he's proven that uh, through all the years that he's played here in the Pro League that he can block shots and be a stalwart of defense at the end of the day. He can bang bodies quite well too. Yeah, well, he's also very tough and he can really get... Oh, it's a good block by Noel. And here's Artadi on the move. And what good defense leads into good offense. Came an easy layup there for Speed King Artadi. That's why we call him Kid Lightning. <laughs> Did you christen him that? Uh, no, the distinction belongs to Mr. Kirito Henson. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Good, <laughs> good one, uh, partner. <laughs> and a nice floater by Jonas Villanueva. So he has 10 points in the ball game right now. Remember, he's, he's strung up two, three point shots in the uh, second quarter before being taken out. Artadi. A wild layup. So he was hoping for a foul more than anything else. And here's Cortez. Oh, Gingerly yeah. scoring on that left. He has four points. Now, when he goes to the left, he's hard to stop. He uses that momentum to kick off, and he finishes better with his left hand than his right, even though he's right-handed. Ten-point game in the early moments of the third quarter. Mamaril with the fake. Outside, Tubit. Tubit for three. Yes, sir! You know, Mama, Mama, Bibi, that because, uh, you know, you play good defense against the in, on the interior, preventing the big man from having a layup, and they hit you with a three-point shot. Eight points for Tubit off the bench. Back to a 13-point lead for Hinebra. And with nine to shoot, Villanueva fires away. And that three-pointer has not been friendly to the beer men tonight. Well, because it's been challenged. And you know, you and I talked about that. Who are the three-point shooters in this team? Pinici is one of them, but he, he doesn't take that many. Then you have, uh, of course, uh, Ontiveros. They really miss the services of Lordi Togade. Because that guy can shoot three-point shots when he's open. Right now, they don't really have that lot of players there to shoot the three-point shot. Oh, that was a bad pass. Miscommunication there between Elton Brennan and again, Cortez. All left. <laughs> Let's go to Dominic Ull. 
Miko, in that uh, halftime huddle, Coach Jong Chico reminded his players that they need to sustain the energy, keep on pushing and moving the ball, which they're very successful. But most importantly, playing solid defense, keeping San Miguel to 41 points in one half is a great achievement, but they got to do it in the third and the fourth quarter as well. Definitely, that, that you have to agree. You know, if they don't score over 80 points, they're going to win this quarter. <laughs> And that was what he was hoping for, but of course, what you wish for is not necessarily going to come true. Oh, this is one guy so that's free. beginning to get that. He has seven points in this quarter for a total of nine. Those well, are seven consecutive points for the cool cap. Here's Noel, and he is fouled. Yeah. Well, Noel knows how to bang baddies, you know. Uh, he, there's no problem for him taking it hard to the hood. And he gets the second personal foul of Freeman here. And as Noel troops to the line, we'd like to thank Fern C, the official vitamin of the PBA, proud sponsor of the Motolite PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. David Noel, product of the University of North Carolina. Look at his attempts in the first half, partner. He's one out of two from three-point territory, one out of one from two-point territory. He, didn't go to three. he only attempted three times and made two of them. And he's not a player who will mind. He doesn't care because his team was ahead. His teammates were shooting the ball well. Here's Villanueva against Baguio. Baseline outside Cortez, who has had the hot hand here for San Miguel. Back pass for Peña. A bit low for Peña. And a Ginebra player reached in. That's Billy Mamarin. The second personal foul of Mamarin. You know, you, he usually starts for Ginebra. So Jokic Chico came out with something new today. He didn't start off with him. He started off with Rafi Ribis, and Ribis is not coming back. Ribis is a good matchup, not because he can score, but because he's 6'9 and he can rebound. He can also block shots uh, and intimidate people going to the basket. And I would like to thank Gatorade, the official sports drink of the PBA. Is it in you? There's a whistle blown here. Halting action here in the third. The foul is against Ronald Tubitz, and that's his third personal. Again, he never getting closer to the being in foul trouble early here in the third quarter. They already have three team fouls, and Miguel has no team fouls in this quarter. And the ball ends up with the Jin Kings, and here comes Tubit, and he steps on the brakes. To Noel. Noel makes his move. What nice pass. pass. And a mid-air collision under the Hinebra basket. And Freeman picks up comes his, up limping. And he picks up his third personal foul. Well, that's a great pass by uh, David Noel. And they're being called to center court. Huh? Is that going to be called a flagrant foul? But I think he was going after the ball more than anything else. He just he may have hit uh, Rafi Ribes in the face. But definitely the intention was to go there, block the shot. Well, the officials will take a look at the tape. Uh, they'll review this. And, and here's that play. There's a nice dish. And Revis is coming in strong. He loses possession. I don't. I think it's just an ordinary foul. It's a foul. There's no question about that. Uh, actually, Revis lost the handle on this ball. If not, he would have dunked this one. It's just an ordinary foul. He actually me. lost the ball. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a lucky break. And then for, the foul uh, came in. Yeah. yeah. Foul came in. So here's the official verdict as Strongel Dabat jogs over to the official stable. We await the official call here. It's just a foul. It's just a foul. That's it. That's it. No flagrant foul there. Nothing. Although it is the third personal uh, on Gabe Freeman as uh, Bethune shot Tunkinson, ponders on the possibilities here in the third. They're down by 11 points to a Hinebra team that is scorching from Rainbow Country. And the, the tape really showed the players that he had no possession of the ball. He was not taking a shot. He lost the ball actually <laughs> when the foul came. So there could not be free throws given to uh, Rafi Rivers. And here's Elter Brand. Baggio from the corner. Rebound for Onteveros as the Beermen try to bounce back here in the third. Well, they're very much in the game. It's just an 11-point hit. Cortez is going to get hot. 
first quarter, I told you this guy can lead this team. And on Cortez beginning show, the last three games he has played, San Miguel has won and won well. Ten points for Cortez here in the third. Ginebra still on top, 61-53, as we approach the seven-minute mark of the third period. Elterbrad, he can't shoot, goes inside, Baguio, nowhere to go, throws the ball away. Villanueva on the move, he steps on the gas and the layup is good. And timeout is needed here by Ginebra as the lead has been cut down to only six right now. And Freeman is all tuckered out at this point, with still seven minutes remaining in the third. Television's newest and most intense basketball reality show is coming to CS9 and BTV, the clear Men Future League. The proving ground for high-performance athletes and see 10 of the most promising basketball teams compete for the glory. The 200,000 peso grand prize and a chance to be discovered. Premieres July 12 here on CS9 right after the PBA. I never needed that time out. They're going to go to the post right now. They're going to force Freeman to give up another foul, and they did go to Noel, and Freeman picked up his fourth personal foul. Of course, he didn't like it because he knows that his team needs him, and he doesn't want to get to a stage where he has to sit down probably for the whole of the third quarter now. It's still over six minutes remaining here in this period. And sending David Noel to the line. We see Danny Delfonso about to come in, but this is exactly what he never wanted. They went to Noel right away with Freeman guarding him at the post. And there's Danny I taking the place of Gabe Freeman, who will most likely sit it out here for sitting, the whole uh, He will sit out the remainder of the third. Unless he never makes a big break away, you no know, worry. Shot Tankinson has to bring him here. It's useless no to choice. Keep him, uh, yeah, it's useless uh, to keep him on the bench if the other team is pulling away. But right now, it seems that the San Miguel players are back there. But their confidence level is okay. And Cortez, so far, he is not. Nobody has been able to defend him in this quarter. He's been responsible for keeping San Miguel within shouting distance. But he missed that time. Rebound for Rivas. Here's Tubin against Ontiveros. Hand off Helterbrand. Helterbrand says, yeah, lots of time to shoot. Yes. I rush. Yes. Oh, well, you know what? I changed my mind. That's his first <laughs> two points no, here in this uh, second half. No? And 21 in the ball game right now. As the Beerman go inside, Dorian Peña powers his way. And Dorian will have a bonus free throw. Now you got to give that to Dorian. He went and spun to his right, which is not his strong side. That's why Rebus got caught with the foul. He was expecting him to spin back to the left. Second personal against Rivas. Fourth team foul against Cinebra, sending Dorian Peña to the line, but he missed the bonus free throw. Well, he just threw it up. <laughs> like he didn't want to touch it. <laughs> and we hit the halfway mark of the third quarter. And here's David Noel, now guarded by Daniel DeFonso. And Noel wants a clear out here. He'll take Danny I off the dribble, pulling up, overshoots. Good boxing out tactics there done by Peña against uh, Rafi Rivas. Tight pass and a good one there by Antiveros to Danny I. Could that be. is that is just tremendous familiarity. Yeah, and it could be a blessing in disguise if Freeman is sitting down. Because first of all, he was developing the cramps. And second, there is more teamwork with the local players. But that's an easy call out there for Noel. I think Baggio, you could credit an assist. I think he knew he had no chance of making that. He just saw where Noel was. And Noel with nine points in the game. Ginebra still ahead, 66-59. Missed by Danny I, too bit with the rebound. Danny I begging for a foul. And here's Noel on the move. Noel all the way, plus a foul. You know what I know about Noel? You know, he didn't have to score in the first half because his team was really having a grand uh, time shooting those. But here, they're, they're troubled, they're beleaguered, and he comes back scoring for them, you know. He's really demanded the ball here in the uh, last few minutes. Former 
North Carolina Tar Heel ramming his way through the defense and gets a congratulatory high five from Paul Artadi from the bench and he completes a three point play. Really picks his spots during the game. That's exactly, he's very smart. You know, he knows when it's time to come up. And I think we have a timeout here called by San Miguel. Back in a moment. with us here, game one of the Motolite DBA Fiesta Conference Finals here on CS9. Miko Halili with the good doctor, Dr. J. Andy Howe. And uh, these lovely ladies, Claudia and Patricia, part of this mammoth crowd. Over 11,000 in the Big Dome, of course. Uh, U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines, Christy Kenny, has just absolutely fallen in love with Philippine sports. Always part of big sporting events like this one. Oh, she's a great ambassador. Uh, definitely, uh, I think, well admired probably will, you know, become a future politician in America too. Uh, that's what I believe. And those girls that you saw earlier, I saw them come in with uh, Boss Dantin Kowanko and his wife Gretchen. Gretchen, I haven't seen her for a long time, but it's the finals. Their team is in the finals, so she's going to come out and cheer for them. Those those girls, I think, may be more related to Camilo. And a mystery by Salvacion. And a loose ball here picked up by Helter Brand. Here's Baggio. Uh, he gets hijacked, and the ball stays with Hinebra. Got more physical contact now. Under five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Hinebra still on top by ten. Yeah, they were already in the front court. You cannot throw to the back court. That was a funny turnover there by JJ. I thought at one point there, he wanted to call a timeout, a 30-second timeout, because he couldn't get an inbound to come in for his, to get, uh, to come in for his team, uh, teammates. Here's Antiveros. He just knows how to fish for that foul. <laughs> he went fishing. Yeah, I mean, eight free throws <laughs> given to him in the first half. All over smaller guards, he just gets them jumping up in the air and reaching in. And Dodon has made a living from the line, seven out of eight. Dodon Antiveros, when he was in grade school, was once asked by a teacher. Okay, I'll go back to that story after we check our KFC delivery assist uh, the third quarter. Featuring Dodon Antiveros over to Danny I. Magpa delivers a KFC, just dial 8878888. KFC, it's finger licking good. And he was asked by a teacher, what will you be when you grow up? And at that young age, Don Don knew. He said, with all the confidence in the world, I will be a PBA player. That's bad, you know. Once he gets, uh, you know, he likes to be isolated. And then, you know, he finds those small gaps where he goes to the basket and he goes it hard, he takes it hard. Third personal foul now on Dorian Peña. And this has been the number that he never has been able to maintain the lead, the eight, the tens, you know, never. Well, for a while it went down to six, but they did call a timeout and uh, David Noel went to work right away. And, you know, some get had the taste of that lead, but uh, a very fleeting moment. <laughs> A very brief. That was somewhere in one the second quarter. One point lead, 22-21. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Well, that was in the first quarter because uh, San Miguel eventually finished with 22 points in the first quarter while he never came back with five straight points and finished with 26. Seems that the import, despite his four personal fouls, is going to be sent back into the game. Here's Antiveros for three. And Peña with a rebound and a putback. Good positioning play there by Dorian Peña. Certainly a pillar for the uh, San Miguel uh, team. San Miguel is in a zone again here. They're playing the zone defense here. And that's why Salvacion has that shot. And it goes in and out. Rebound for Peña. Four rebounds for Dorian Peña tonight. And Mark Cortez gets swallowed up by the defense. Of and that's Eric a turnover. And, yeah. 
he really doesn't get, he doesn't levitate as well when he goes to the right. He's more <laughs> comfortable going to the left and finishing with the left hand. He can do a lot of things. This one, he had no choice. He had to go to the right, and Eric Mann caught him upstairs. Ginebra holding on to a 71-63 advantage, and here's Salvation. Back to Noel. Noel fires a pass. Baguio. Baguio on the move. Back to Noel. Noel bullet pass. Menk. Menk. His pass was broken up. Washington over to Cortez. And Cortez saw too many red shirts. Goes inside to Peña. Turnover. Baguio on the run. And Helterbrand goes outside. Salvation for three. Yes, sir! And he's been waiting for that the whole night. That's his first three points. Yeah, he's, been, he's been looking for that the whole night. Well, that's your first Sunday special of the evening. And it pushes Inebra ahead, 74-63. As Cortez misses. Menk with a rebound. Sunday Salvacion, one out of six from Rainbow Country. But that three-pointer might get him going. And Baggio is really bothered here by Ontiveros. And again, he loses the ball. And somebody reached in. That's Ontiveros picking up that foul, his third personal foul. And San Miguel is in the penalty, Well, he never is also. That will mean free throw shots for Cyrus Baggio. Third personal against Dondon Ontiveros. Both teams are in the penalty. And took a while for Cyrus, uh, Cyrus game to develop in the PBA. In the meantime, this is uh, Jody Aguila. Our batang star of the game, presented to you by Star Margarine. Isang pagsaludo sa ating mga nagtatangkarang bida sa hardcore. Iba na matangkad, iba na ang batang star. His idol, by the way, is Mark the Spark Kagiwa. Well, mula pang bata kami, talaga is Star Margarine. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I wish I should have eaten gallons and gallons of uh, <laughs> Star Margarine. Uh, meantime, here's Freeman. Your mama love you the way you are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overdo it. <laughs> God doesn't give everything to everybody. Baguio. And now Noel swings it over. Lanete fakes. Lanete wide open. And there's Sunday Salvacion. Misses the putback. And Lanete keeps that ball alive. And a new shot clock for Hinebra. Who wants to win this game more? Look at the hustle there by the leading team. I mean, he never is leading by 13, but his players are all scrapping for the ball. Here's Lanete, runner, bothered by Freeman, and Lanete gets the ball again. It is a Sunday special now, and, and Lanete the ball? again. <laughs> that was a foul there, finally, by Ontiveros. Let me ask you, how oh. many offensive rebounds? Oh, why are you worried about being small? Who's who is Rocky here, huh? <laughs> who has the eye of the tiger and who's going over the top, huh? That, Lanete, tell me. Chico Lanete. <laughs> <laughs> the Italian stallion Chico Lanete is on the line and uh, he has made big hustle plays here for Hinebra uh, getting this Barangay Big Dome crowd on its feet. Earning this trip to the line. He makes the first. I mean, those are three offensive rebounds you pick up there as you take a look at Henry, uh, Henry Coanco. Siyempre, alam mo naman yan, Hinebra yan. Yan ang kanyang team. Pag iba kalaban ng San Miguel, sa San Miguel. 30-second <laughs> time out here for San Miguel because uh, Hinebra again uh, fueling another run here uh, towards the tail end of the third. Well, you know, so far... San Miguel has really tried to get back here in this ball game, but I think you know the spirit that's being shown by Hinebra has really taken a lot of their fight out. Here's our what a shot uh, by Ronald Tubit, brought to you by Wata Tempura from Tokyo, Tokyo. Parang hindi gutom si Ronald no itinira yun. Ang daming yo-yo ginawa niya. Uh, to be right now in trouble with uh, his fouls. He has four personal fouls. You can take a view of the big crowd here and of course Barangay Hinebra they always have the signs up there uh, one of our viewers Jun Mirasol and his uh, family from Taguig City they want to know how did Hinebra reach this point get this far without Mark Agiwa and with Eric May going in and out of the lineup well they found the right input 
like I said, this guy is a smart import, and he plays. If he has to play a starting role, he will do so. If he has to play a, a supportive role, uh, he will do so. Then, of course, adding Cyrus Baggio was another ingredient to helping the team in its offensive game. Then they're getting some of their injured players coming back. Levis, and then now Mek in this game. Here's Danny I drop pass. Uh, last touch on Freeman. Too tentative now on the part of San Miguel. Because of uh, the fact that they're behind by 15 points, they're feeling the pressure, and they want high percentage shots, taking too many unsure shots for themselves. Under a minute remaining in the third quarter. A late surge here by Hinebra, fueled by their offensive rebounds, and that's a Sunday special. Look at what Noel does. You know, he knows exactly where his teammate was. He's looking the other way, but he's passing to Sunday at the corner. That's the second triple for Sunday Salvacion in seven attempts. And here's Jonas Villanueva with a runner. And Jonas gets his own miss and scores on the putback. Now it's only about 17 seconds now, so he never obviously will go for the last shot. San Miguel has no fouls to give. Can't send people to the free throw line with a defensive foul. Seven seconds remaining in the third. Baggio has the basketball. And Baggio finds Lanete. Lanete for three. And that ends the third period. With Enebra on top, 81-65, thanks to a late surge uh, fueled by two triples by Sunday Salvacion. Freeman and company, they'll have some catching up to do when we start the fourth quarter. Helterbrand leading the way with 21 as we check our Motolite leading scorers at the end of three quarters. Fourth quarter coming right up. Inside the big dome as we begin the payoff period. And we'd like to thank Fernseed, official vitamins of the PBA, proud sponsor of the Motolite PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. So glad you could join us here in the PBA Finals on CS9. Miko Hadidi uh, working alongside a good doctor, Dr. J. Andy Howe. And our team is completed by Dominic Way, who is covering Hinebra, and Leah Cruz, who is covering the San Miguel. Beerman. Here's Villanueva to Pingris and Pingris coming. Uh, Pingris, Rosella came into the ball game. Washington, Freeman, and Villanueva. San Miguel going with a speedier team right now on the floor. Shorter, but speedier. And a lot of scoring uh, opportunities for them here. A lot of players that can do the scoring here. Here's Washington and Pingris lost the leather. How many times that has, uh, has that happened to San Miguel tonight? Those turnovers at that stage where they had good opportunities to get an easy layup. He never has taken the three quarter so far in this post. 26, 27, 28 points. San Miguel 22, then that low of 19 in the second quarter, 24. 16 point lead. Chico Laniete is now being replaced here by JJ Helterbrand. Barely a minute gone by here in the uh, fourth and final quarter. And Lanete gets a big hand from uh, the Hinebra fans. So a minute having gone by in the fourth, I should send you over to Leah Cruz. Thank you. Now, earlier I reported that the San Miguel Beermen are having trouble getting into the usual game, and that's still the problem that's going on now. The problem, Coach Schott said, is that they're too tentative. That's why their game is slowing down, so they have to move the ball more on offense. Now also, the other problem is defense. They gotta make stops, they gotta play better defense, and they gotta hustle for loose balls. Hinebra is getting too many second chance points. That's what's happening over at San Miguel. Now for more on Hinebra, let's go over to Dominic Lee. Well, thank you, Leah. Very basic for the Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings. Defense, 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 box out, and sprint back. But more importantly, everybody was like, guys, one more quarter, and we got win number one. Back to you guys. We took the shoot here for the beard man, and... Another hustle play here for Hinebra. Here's Baggio, he goes behind the back, he goes sidestep, and like a football running back, uh, found the seams and the little openings in the defense. Could you believe he missed? That's his favorite shot. 
running zigzag against you, then falling in closer to the basket, but he was fouled there. Take a look at this play again. Look at him behind the back, zigzag again, go to the other side, then that contact, and he loves that kind of shot. That's his favorite shot, actually. But he will go to the free throw line. And you were able to watch Baggio's career yeah, gradually yeah, develop. Yeah, yeah. He was not an instant hit in the no, PBA. No, no, no. You know, I mean, he was a good scorer in uh, UST, but you would say undersized, not really well built, not a strong defender, but he can jump. You know, he's got great leaping ability, and he developed his outside shot. Junti all Valenzuela always used to say, Baggio always said an outside shot, but he never wanted to take it. So, but now he's beginning to feel confident about that. Eight out of eight. It's a free throw line ng Hinebra. That's oh, Baguio. <laughs> and Fern C is the official vitamins of the PBA. A proud sponsor of the Motolite PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. And focusing back on the action on the court. Gabe Freeman against David Noel. That's a good drive. This is exactly what he did to Sean Daniels. But of course, Daniels is much slower than uh, Noel. Daniels, by the way, led his team to the uh, third place finish today. Burger beat the Reino Shine team for third place. Here's Elterbrand, seventh to shoot. Baggio for three. This yes, sir. Was, uh, something he did not have in the UAAP, but he really developed it here in the pros. Huh? 13 points for Cyrus Baggio coming off the bench. We are in the early moments of the fourth quarter. Hinebra is still in control of the game. You cannot uh, leave him alone. That guy can shoot. That's what you call a veteran bounce. I mean, that guy can shoot. Austin Rosella uh, shot his way to a living here in the PBA from those three, with those three-point shots. Of it. Baggio fires away. In and out. Rebound for Freeman. And Olsen goes inside Washington. A lot of muscle on that move. There is that big mismatch that they've been trying to exploit. There's no way Sunday Salvation is going to be able to guard Washington at the post. And uh, with all the moves that Washington has and the power, uh, let's see nowhere go back to work. He hasn't been oh, that was read there by Bill Lanova. And a preemptive foul here given up by Salvation, which is a good foul. It's number four, but it prevents a fast break opportunity for San Miguel. We'll take this time out. 8 and 43 remaining in the fourth. Inebra still on top, 86-74. continue our coverage of the PBA Finals here on CS9 and we'd like to thank Gatorade, the official sports drink of the PBA is it in you. The battle of the two teams that finished one and two at the end of the elimination round and there's a whistle here foul called against the Hinebra defense yeah it's on uh, JC Intal against Mark Pingris off the ball on the weak side but he was preventing uh, Mark Pingris to get to his position at the post on the strong side so referee Cruz made the call three team fouls now called against Barangay Hinebra Washington on the move and the basket is good. And Washington has then da damage in the shaded lane. Well, like I said, I think I thought among the locals, together with Villanueva, he's really played very consistent. Uh, he was responsible for scoring as well as um, assists. He's in double figures now. 11 points, could make it 12. Very hard matchup for Hinebra at the small forward position. He's 6'7". A lot of skills too. Right now, Hinebra still ahead, 86-77. That's, that's not a safe lead with such a lot of time left in the ball game, And Hinebra already with 14 fouls. And with eight to shoot. They try to go to David Noel. No success there. Villanueva scans the floor. And sends it over to Pingris with that mismatch against JC Intal. Back outside, Rasella. They go to Jonas Villanueva with the drive. 
And there's Washington and once again. That's right. And you know, San Miguel is back in the ball game right now. They got the momentum. A lot of bad passes by Ginebra on their entry pass in their half court set. And surprisingly, Helter Gun has been making the mistakes. Missed by Baggio. And Baggio got his own miss. And he gets fouled almost, but not quite. <laughs> that would have counted. Yeah, they, that definitely would have counted. It's a tough break. Because San Miguel already generating a lot of momentum, yes. and then Washington the, commits a foul. And because there was an interception, actually that loose ball was picked up by Baggio. And that, here, definitely it's a foul. He's up in the air, he has not come down, and he, makes, he throws up that shot. That had a, had a very decent chance of dropping. And instead, Baggio will take two free throws. That would have been a big one of the big highlights of the PBA plays. PBA, really the place to be, you know? Asila, Coach Amir Bagarja and JRU, they're watching me now. They're watching the games because they want to emulate these players, you know? This is their goal, to, to make the PBA. Here's Rasella. And now Villanueva, top of the key. As we approach the seven-minute mark of the fourth, Jonas Villanueva with a burst of speed. San Miguel is very much, like I said, in the ball game. They got some momentum. They're beginning to feel comfortable. 16 points in the ball game now for Jonas Villanueva. Villanueva up by just seven points, 88-81. Biggest lead was at 18 points earlier. Now they want to pick up that fifth foul of Jay Freeman, so they're isolating. There's the help. And here's Baggio with a slice. Oh, you force a, a double team. Something, somebody's going to be open. He makes the right cut. There is no well to make sure he gets the pass. Baggio with 17 points off the bench. And it's back to a nine-point Hinebra lead, 1981. Oh, steal by Noel. David good. Noel on the move. And David Noel completes. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Jonas Villanueva embraced David Noel in a preemptive move. But they didn't call the foul. You know, sometimes referees can let that go. That has happened in many basketball games because he has a chance to dunk. Take a look at this. I saw the foul. Here he tries to hold him. Then he goes and continues. An advantage foul called against Jonas Villanueva because he's way ahead. There's going to be a dunk there, so, you know. So the shot isn't counted, but the advantage foul is called. Mas mabigat na penalty nangyari dyan because he has two free throws plus they had possession. If he makes the free throws. He makes his free throws, but they do have possession. There's no one had the runway all to himself. Yeah. Oh, he set the take off. And right now, he never up by 10. And they have possession of the basketball. With 6 and 16 remaining in game one. And here's Helter Brad. Nice pass for Revis. Well, he, JJ Helter Brad making up for two of his terrible passes here. Coming up with an excellent one straight to Revis's hand. Who faked off, used the glass, and has a three point play coming up. You might forget. Helter Brad is also a point guard. That's right. He knows <laughs> he's averaging 5.2 assists a game. Uh, his shooting guard skills have so much developed. People might have actually forgotten that he used to be Hinebra's starting point guard. We'll be back with more action in a moment. Revis misses uh, the free throw badly. It's, it's never been his strong suit. Uh, even when he first came here, I think he was playing with uh, the coke there. He really had a terrible free throw shot. Here's Rasella. Rebound for Revis. Baggio 
Having a big game tonight for Hinebra. 17 points in the ball game. As we cross the halfway mark of the fourth and final quarter. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock, but that's a lot of time. You, no, time no need to panic, really. Ooh. There's Villanueva. Time to get down by 12. And that's a three and a for possible, Rasella. Possible four-point play with that foul called against JC and Tal. That's why Olsen may not retire. He may never retire. <laughs> he can shoot that three-point shot, you know. He takes care of his body very yeah, well. Yeah. Has been fortunate enough to avoid serious injuries, not the foot. So it's just a matter of being able to temper his minutes, you know, and just pace him in a game. They do have an alternate, um, you know, they have uh, Rosella, they have, of course, Villanueva. You know, San Miguel has only used 10 players in this ball game, whereas they've really done every game with 13 players, including their input. Ginebra has already used 11 players in this ball game. If you're looking for Bon Bon Custodio, by the way, he is under the weather. That's why he, he is uh, uh, not, not, even the, not even on the San Miguel bench. Here's Noel on the turnaround. And it will be San Miguel uh, basketball here as Casella sits down. Ontiveros uh, rejoins the game with 5.07 remaining in the fourth. Tubid, another tough defender, is coming in for Cyrus Baggio. It's a good reaction on the part of Coach John Yuichiko. He has to match up against Ontiveros. Here's our uh, KFC delivery assist of uh, the fourth quarter. Agpa delivers a KFC just now, 887-8888. KFC is finger licking good. That's an uh, offensive foul. You see, Tubid comes in, establishes position. And that's the fifth personal foul now of Don Don. Sandy Salvacion, who hit two three point shots in the third quarter, comes back in for JC Intal. More firepower. Under five minutes remaining here in game one. On the floor for Hinebra, Helter Brad, Rivas, Tubid. Uh, Noel and Salvacion. And here's Noel against Freeman. Mike Cortez coming back into the ball game. He has only played 19 minutes, but he has contributed 13 points in this ball game, and a uh, bulk of them coming in the third quarter, where he had 11 points there. Brand new backcourt here for San Miguel with Onteveros and Cortez. And Freeman wanted that basketball. Instead, it's with Tingris with 10 to shoot. And out of Washington. And Washington working hard to bring San Miguel back in this game. Pushing out on the four, Rivas. His fourth foul. Well, the foul is called on Rivas. And it isn't material whether he was taking the shot or not because he never is already in the penalty. So uh, uh, automatic on defensive foul or loose ball foul would mean free throw shots. So this could be the closest that San Miguel gets to Hinebra after a long while. They could cut this down to six. And a lot of time left in this ball game. And uh, that's Mariel Rodriguez, left side of your screens. R.R. Enriquez and Isabel Oli. Pretty faces, part of this mammoth. PBA Finals crowd inside the Big Dome. We got a game here right now. That leads down to six. And you, know, you know, they've led all the way. They've felt comfortable. Right now, they need to be able to create another offensive play. And Elder Brad will miss. An opportunity here for the Beermen, Tingris. He won't take that outside shot. Hand off, Ontiveros. Ontiveros against Tubid. Here's Cortez. Cortez looking for Washington, and that's a turnover. That's good defense there by Rafi Rivas. Here's Salvacion for three. Yes, sir. Oh, that is big. That is big. Anytime you need a big basket, you call for a Sunday special. <laughs> And this, you know, they have a lot of confidence in him. I mean, he, he could have hit the side of the barn in the first half. 
But when he hit those two three-point shots, they're looking for him right now. That forced a 30-second timeout called by San Miguel. Obviously, try to regroup. We had it there. Uh, we made a mistake again on the offensive pa uh, part of our game, and they hit that with a three-point shot. Three and 39 remaining in the fourth and final quarter of game number one. Best of seven finals beginning tonight. Uh, let's look back at our Gatorade halfway point featuring Rafa Rivas. That was a nice pass, Helter Brander Rivas, part of our Gatorade halfway point of the fourth quarter. That was the sixth assist of J.J. Helter Brand in this, uh, the seventh, I mean. He had six before that, that was the seventh. Also six rebounds, aside from leading them uh, in scoring with uh, 21 points. But he has only two points here in the second half. Here's Cortez against Helter Brand. Washington really wants that basketball in a furious battle with Rivas at the post. Fight to shoot. Here's Washington. 4-3. Yes, sir. Big, big basket there. Good timeout by Coach Shot Tankinson. They were able to set up a good play there. For 19 points for Washington. Yeah. Gabe Freeman given a warning. Well, this fourth quarter has been Washington's playground. And almost single-handedly bringing San Miguel within six points. Here's Noel. Noel on the move. And that turnover gives San Miguel another opportunity to come even closer. The pressure is being put on by the San Miguel defense right now. And they're feeling it. Under three minutes remaining in game number one. Just a six-point advantage for Ginebra. And here's Freeman with nowhere to go. And a defensive play by Rivas over to Tubid. And Tubid will wait for teammates. There's a problem with Freeman. He will not take that outside shot. He's trying to get closer to the basket. And Noel reads him very well, forcing him into that turnover. Ninth to shoot, approaching the last two minutes of the ball game. And Helter Brand fires a three. Way off the mark. Two points only in the second half for J.J. Helter Brand. And another, I don't know if this is a full timeout. It's a full timeout being asked by San Miguel. Six point lead for Ginebra back in a moment. Two oh eight remaining in the fourth and final quarter of game number one. Best of seven finals for the Motolai PBA Fiesta Conference. Well, Jonas Villanueva came in for Pingus because Jotan is looking for four players. All the players on the floor could score. Last two minutes brought to you by Motolai Pangmatagalan. He never led by as many as 18, but don't look now. The San Miguel Beermen are knocking on the door. And they refuse to go quietly into the night. They're down by just four points. And well, now playing tough defense here. He never has to score. J.J. Helterbrand cannot just continue controlling it and not score. And a big break there for he never because San Miguel had that ball and the ball bounced back all the way up to Baguio. So they have a first 24 second shot clock. He never cannot play the clock right now. They just have a two possession advan uh, advantage here. Helterbrand holding on to that basketball. Helterbrand attacks, kick out. Baggio, Baggio on the right side, back to Helterbrand for three. Did not look good when he released it. And Freeman secures the rebound. Another 30 second timeout being now being called by San Miguel. Uh, a timeout, it's a full timeout. San Miguel down by four, they'll have the ball when we return. One minute and five seconds remaining here in the fourth and final quarter of game one. Ginebra 
holding on to a four-point lead, 96-92. San Miguel, they have other plans in mind. They like to go to Washington, who's been the man of the moment. They go to Antiveros with 10 to shoot. Oh, he traveled. He lost his footing there. The stupid came up with the big defensive stop there. He looked at him eye to eye, you know, and made sure that he could not get by him. That forced the traveling violation. That was a very big turnover. Now, there's no... Take a look at that. He lost his footing. He just dragged his feet there. That's a good call. And to be that's a call, a timeout, because there was nobody he could pass to. So a big defensive stop by Ronald Tubid. And a 30-second timeout here for Hinebra with 54.5 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Hinebra dodging a bullet there, Dr. J. Yeah, definitely. The pressure was on them. But, you know, when the pressure is there, that's when you have to come up with defense. They had the defensive players. Tubi is a good defensive player. He can defend imports, you know, as long as they're not really that big. So take a look at this. Barangay Hinebra. Jong Yuchiko's eight titles already. He's won a lot of them with San Miguel. And then uh, Shot Tankin Senate too. They were both with Hinebra when he was the coach of Hinebra. Tapos the ka exchange deal. Exchange gift, kahit hindi Pasko. <laughs> Pero malapit na pala nga yung San Miguel uh, National Beer Drinking Contest ha, up to sep September 30. Pakiusap nga pala ni manager Hector Calmo sa akin. Muti ko na nakalimutan. Mag-try out kayo dyan. Nalalaki ang premyo. And then Hinebra is now calling a full time an, a, a full time out now. So we'll be back in a moment. Atmosphere inside the big dome, absolutely electric. And Ambassador Dadin Gowanko watching the proceedings very intently. That was his wife, Gretchen, Mom Gretchen, and uh, of course, uh, si Boss Henry Gowanko on the other side. There, uh, hiwale hiwale muna tayo. Now, John Yuchiko did the same thing. He brought in Sandy Salvacion and took out Ridley. So he has all scorers on the floor also. Everybody can, there are four guys, almost all of them can shoot the outside shot. Now, after all, this is just a four-point game. Yeah, that's right. He needs to score here. You cannot just let the time go and, you know, use the 24. You want to be able to score here. Here's Tobin. Nice move there by Tobin. And that's another hustle play. A pivotal play there for Ronald Tobin. He got his own miss. And, you know, he never really getting a lot of hustle plays here in the second half. That's right. You know, but uh, Tobi didn't have to take that shot. That shot, he could have, that rebound, he could have bought out and dribbled away because then San Miguel would have had to foul. Thirty-two point five seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, and it's a six-point game in favor of Hinebra. San Miguel with the basketball here. San Miguel's problem is that they have no more timeouts remaining. Now here's Jonas Villanueva. They're looking for the three-point shot. They're not, for even, they're, not for even, three. they're not even thinking of the two. A oh, block shot. from behind by Noel, and there's a follow-up by Freeman. But two may not be good enough because it's still a two-possession game. There is no pressure, and San Miguel would have to foul against Inebra. This is just a 30-second timeout, so that that means they could advance the ball if they want to, you know, to prevent an interception in the backcourt. So it's a four-point game, 98-94 in favor of Inebra. San Miguel, no more timeouts remaining. They're down by four. And let's listen in. Okay. 
You see the game reset. Both teams are in the penalty. San Miguel, no more timeouts remaining. Ginebra still with those two full timeouts they can use. That's right. They elect to throw in the backcourt because it's, you have more space to really set up screens and make player movement for you to get the ball. Once they inbound it, they know that San Miguel will trap you and then, at the, the, then they'd have to foul because they have no more choice. And now, look out. And there's the foul given up by Villanueva. Well, they have no more choice at that stage. Once they release themselves from the trap, there was no choice. Now, San Miguel has no timeout, so that's a big thing. They cannot advance the ball. Tuvi had a quiet evening there in the first half. He got into foul trouble early, but he's making up for lost time here in the second half, especially on the previous play. Now, these are big free throws. And, you know, he's a, he's a player who plays tough under tough conditions. <laughs> he likes the limelight. Parang moto light. Tubid always never averse to uh, pressure packed situations, even back in college. Yeah, when he was with uh, the Warriors. Parehong uh, halos ringless. Eh. <laughs> 12 points for Tubid, 6 point game for Hinebra. Oh, Hinebra just got to protect from the 3 point shot. Here's Freeman. Now they have to foul again. And Tubi goes to the line again just to add on to his statistical points. That's the problem of not having a timeout. But they had no choice. They had to call the timeouts because that allowed them to get back in the game actually. And Jonas Villanueva uh, fouls out. Jonas had 18 points. I think the key of Hinebra winning this game is they were able to control that San Miguel dominance of the big men inside. You know, uh, Peña was not a real big factor. Freeman was not a big factor inside. And I, uh, neither was uh, Danny Delfonso. And they were able, in other words, they match up our small men against your small men. And their small men scored more. You know, Hinebra's small men scored more. Ito medyo umiling ang tira niya, kaya napaganon si Ronald. But they're gonna pick up the victory in game number one, which is not really a very, very big thing. It just gives you the opportunity to maybe go up 2-0, which is now going to be a big thing if you can go up 2-0. You're never getting big performances from Tubid. From Baguio, yeah, from Salvacion, those and two from timely three pointers by Salvacion and JJ Helter. So it's course, the guards yeah. up to the small forward that did the damage for them in the game. Washington had that big effort in the fourth, but just was not enough. Jong Uichigo and the rest of the Jenkins. They race ahead to a one to nothing lead in this best of seven series, winning 102. 96 over the San Miguel Beermen. And Inebra practically led the entire game. San Miguel had that taste of the lead so briefly at 22 21, but that was just a very brief moment. And Helter Brand one game down, one win down, three more to go. As Inebra hopes to successfully defend uh, the Fiesta Conference Championship. And now let's send you over to Dominic Uy. Well, JJ, congratulations. Best player of our ball game. You talked about, at the half, you talked about heart and guys stepping up when you guys needed it the most. And that's what happened. Definitely. Um, um, we got off to a good start. Um, second half, uh, we tried to keep it going, but, you know, we knew that we, they were going to make a run. And once again, like I said, different guys always step up in crucial times. Today, Ronald stepped up, Paul stepped up, everybody stepped up. So we got a win today. We got lucky. Looking ahead in game number two, what are the things that you guys need to check with San Miguel Beer? Um, we got to continue to do the same thing, really play hard, uh, want it more than they do, and uh, contain uh, their peri perimeter as much as we can and limit their big men. All right, thank you, JJ, again. Congratulations, Miko, Dr. J. And JJ Helterbrand and the rest of the Gin Kings are ahead in the series, one game to none. And here's our Motolai leading scorers, of course, Helterbrand leading the way 
with 21. We'll be back with more from the Big Dome after these messages. Back with us here with our remaining moments. Uh, Hinebra winning over San Miguel 102 96 to claim game one of the Motolite uh, PBA Festa Conference finals. Uh, San Miguel did not let Hinebra pull away. Yeah, they certainly had the fight in them. Uh, being the top league uh, player, uh, being the top team in the league for almost the whole of the conference, they weren't just going to go away. You know, Hinebra just had a good shooting night from the outside. The three point shots were falling. And medyo na unahan talang talaga ang San Miguel, but they fought back. But today wasn't their day day. Like uh, JJ Helterbrand was saying, they were able to contain the big men, and their import only had 16 points in this ball game. And I think you do you expect that San Miguel backcourt to come back stronger in game two? Well, yeah. Well, Dondon has not been having a very good shooting night. He's, he made his points today mostly from the free throw line. He's got to be able to improve that. But I think San Miguel's really got to find other players to score for them from the outside. And that import, uh, Gabe has got to be able to make some jump shots from close range because if not, they're going to defend him that way. We just take away his uh, inside game and let and let him shoot the 10-12 footer. Once again, super game from J.J. Helderbrand, best player. Yeah, he had 21 points. Only two, however, in the second half. He, it seems to be uh, something that's been going for him in the last ever since Marcus left him for a while. But he did have seven assists and also six rebounds. But more than anything, he kept them in the game at the same time. The other guards now came in. That that provided for the heroics of Baguio and uh, Salvacion and Tubid in the end game. And those heroics uh, sparked by a lot of hustle plays, which really allowed Hinebra to keep San Miguel at bay. And again, the final score, 102-96. Hinebra now leads this best of seven series, one game to none. And we'll see you game two on Friday. For Dominic Oi, Leo Cruz, my partner, the good doctor, Dr. J. Andy Howe. I'm Iko Halili saying good night from the Big Dome. Well, out the Filipinas. This is the PBA Finals on CS9.